So pretty good. Seven and one stretch, and then another seven and one stretch. Back to back for 14 and two in their last 16. Nice scramble play on the effort by the Skyhawks. Free ball and a dump. Oh, a pancake still alive. This could be a momentum garnering point if the Skyhawks could get it. Two free balls in a row for the Hawks. Don Levy dug it from the back row, and Poveda squishes it down. On an opening set. Oh, Dunlavy with a great pickup. Now it's going to be Carly Russell. Bumped it all the way over. McCarthy touched it first. Now it's Deancona on the attack. Turner, backhand pass for Perigene, who rips it by. Here's Claire Feeman, who's hitting 195. Trying to get a good service in. Try the dump attempt. Interesting point for it. Perigene, can she serve it up? Touch back down and in by Povita. Slam dunk. Dennis Rodman at the hoop. It's Poveda who touched it through and on the fifth set point for Stonehill of that opening set, they finally take it. Two and a half kills per set is 18th in the conference for Poveda. Henwood bumped it on the pass. Givens set it up on a tee for Freeman. Henwood lines it at Donlavi. Turner to Feeman, that's been working all night long. Continue to go up the middle. Gonna be a roll shot. A couple of Skyhawks almost collide. Poveda gets it off and down. And on the set point, the Skyhawks have it. Not converting like they were back in that second set for the Hawks. Now they'll try the middle, it was a dump attempt. Good reactionary play by Burgess. Perigene touched it and then got out of the way. Burgess fights it back. For Stonehill this weekend, and hello. Hammer time for Claire Feeman. Dogby made Dunlavi wait on the serve. Overpass right back over. Givens came in late. Feeman bumps it for Remick. Remick! with a bendy type attack, puts it in. Carly Russell back. He's had a few errors already tonight. He's got a laser on that serve. Very angular cross court pass. Perigene smokes it through. Backed back up and Dianconi can't hit it back over and it's gonna be a match point on the fourth touch. Cross court, and that one's in for the ace. The Hawks let it go on the last point of the fourth set, and the ace from Russell seals the deal and the win tonight for Stonehill. Um, we were kind of just like in a place where like we're like, okay, that set happened, just let it go, just move on from then and keep pushing into the set and go back into what we did set one and think about what we did well in that set and then move forward from there. Um, this match meant a lot to us just because um, it was a great conference win and obviously like St. Nays is always a good team to play against and like for us like we felt like our communication stepped up a lot this game and that helped our offense step up as well as like defense and everything just kind of like flowed throughout the match. Um, I thought that I was able to communicate really well with my setter and she was able to find me as well as like my timing being up early for a ball and then blocking we were set up in the right spots and that helped a lot for me to close and be able to get the block. Uh, it was a very fun and exciting match, you know, I think we came out good in set one, lots of energy, uh, you know, and, and of course St. A's went on a run of their own and caught back up and had game point and then we had our backs against the wall in set one and we pulled it out and it was awesome and then set two we went down quick and we were never really able to recover, we just kept snowballing, I think uh, I called a timeout late in set two uh, and I just sort of reinforce, like, you know, let's not wait till set three to reset our mentality. Let's focus on it now. And they did a good job responding at the end of set two. I know we were down at a big hole, so coming back was not really likely. Um, but they, they, you could see the switch in their mentality there. They sort of got a little bit looser. And then when we hit set three, uh, again, they were just sort of rolling along and, and executing like we were supposed to. Our serves were better, our passing was better, and we were able to get through set three uh, pretty unscathed. Uh, set four. Built a big lead and sort of tensed up a little bit. Um, you know, St. A's made their run and we couldn't really slow it down. 
Uh, and once again, you know, they, they got to game point and we had our backs against the wall, but the resiliency of our girls and being able to execute when we were in that position uh, was really awesome. You know, they've done it time and time again this season. Uh, I wish we wouldn't be, wouldn't be there, but we are, and we know how to handle it, so that's a good sign.